back. Jamie, you're a minute late. Hang on, what's this? Hmm? This. Oh, it's a uh, chicken wrap. We don't do them here, and I, I like chicken. Jamie, this is a burger. We can't have mutiny here at Rick's Burger. I've already fired someone this week for spying for Burger King. This is a war, Jamie. And you're either with us or against us. And you've made it pretty clear which side you're on. But Rick, I'm very disappointed, Jamie. You're fired. And I want the shirt back. Yeah. Greg, sweep the bugs. Not that kind. I had a call this morning. Oh yeah? Yeah, from Rick. Mm. Of Rick's Burger. Mm. Yeah, you can't keep losing jobs. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? I was a victim of corporate warfare. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you. We're in a recession. I'm out of jobs. What recession? Well, well didn't you notice that you had to queue for like an hour to get in here this morning? Oh yeah, yeah. I thought that was a bit weird. Mm. It doesn't look like things are getting any better in either. Uh, I've got nothing available until 2010. A year? No. Yeah. And it doesn't look like it's getting any better. I've got out of work solicitors and unemployed brain surgeons coming here doing the work you used to do. I don't even want to have to tell you what out of work toilet cleaners are doing right now. But what am I supposed to do? Dole money barely covers rent, let alone food. Oi! You're not allowed to eat in here. I've told you about this before. Can I just finish it? No! Oh, come on, Mike. No! Please, it's cost me four quid. Four quid. Look, take my advice. Do some volunteer work. Work on your CV. It looks good. Employers will see that you're, uh, you know, thoughtful and hard-working, good-willed human being. Does it involve old people? Yes. No, I'm not interested in that. Well, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I can't help you. I'm going to have to ask you politely to piss off. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Hey. You all right? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's going on? What, what happened to the job at the hospital? Oh, no, no, not so good. Uh, no, someone got killed. Oh, you, you mean someone died? No, no, someone got killed. Oh, it had nothing to do with you, was it? No, that's what they're saying. Alright. Well, um, good luck trying to get a job in there today. Uh, like they say in the stars in India, you know. Good to be ho sakta hai, kaam to chahiye. Pesa chahiye, khana dena hai, family log ko. You know, England mein aaye hai, bara bara dreams hai. You know, kuch to karna hai hoega hum log ke liye. Kya kare hai, bolo? Well, yeah, so, um... Anyway, I'll see you around. You have a good Christmas, yeah? yeah? Nice to see you again. What?
You. Do I know you? Matt, Frontier Development. Oh, Mark. Matt. So anyway, how you been? <laughs> so, how are things? How have I been? No, I said how are things? I'll tell you how I've been. I've been bloody awful. Ever since I lost my job, no thanks to you. My girlfriend left me. I've been kicked out of my flat. Can't even hear a whistle without feeling a little man. Just so you know, I do actually feel bad about what happens. I mean, is there any way I can make it up to you? A pint? Some drugs, perhaps? Well, what I really need is a place to stay over Christmas. I don't know, man. Come on, you owe me. Car, I'll be gone by Boxing Day. Come on in. Honey, I'm home. Hey man, you're home. What's this? Bollywood bad boys. Are you good? Yeah, I reckon. Looks good. Alright. Oh, this is uh, Mark. We've been staying with us for a few days. Matt, nice to meet you. Over Christmas. Yeah, there's got nowhere else to go. What's up? That, my friend, is the Paladin Vegas Deluxe Karaoke Machine. Do you like karaoke? Not really. Find it a bit cheesy and self indulgent. Can I, can I talk to you outside for a minute, mate? Oh, it's freezing out. In the hole! Well, I don't like him. Well, I don't like him either, but I feel real bad for messing his life up. Oh, it's like you're 40 guys a loser. Come on, man. Have you ever spent Christmas all alone? <sighs> well, I haven't either, but it's got to be pretty bad. Goodwill to a man all that crap. He'll be gone by boxing, mate. Anyways, you still after a job? Yes. Because I double booked myself on Christmas Eve and I was wondering maybe you could fill in for me? I don't know. I haven't really done anything like that before. Come on, man, there's a cool hundred squid in it for you. I hide it well, but I really am not a party person. Come on, man, you don't even have to talk to anyone. You just listen to what they want. Easy as pie, man. Mm -hmm. Do me a massive favour. Alright, and don't worry about the mark, alright? You'll be gone before you know. Very sick of not being respected on the double bill. Very sick of not being feared in the office. Very sick of not feeling like a man. We need the Patriot whistle. 12,000 hertz of eardrum piercing precision. So here you're today to be a true patriot. Yeehaw! I hate that guy. The patriot whistle. Where are you going? Oh, I've just got a hot day at eight o'clock. 